Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about SQL interview questions. And from today, we are going to start another series that is a SQL interview series. So often many times, you know, we have attended BI interviews and we know this is one pain area where you know we struggle to answer the questions or you know we might not know the answer or we need a dedicated learning on this so thanks to one of our subscriber who has collected and shared us this question so i'm sure i'm going to share you all the questions so with answers so stay tuned and let us get started so if you're new to my channel don't forget to like share and subscribe so this is a part series where i will be sharing you know few questions in every video because they are lengthy so i'm trying to create so if you have more such questions sql questions you can share that so that it can help you know our channel members in learning and you know in cracking the jobs so you know if you have attended interviews you know one of this is one of the common question that has been asked many times so again these questions are related to 2024 you know uh, so the first question that was asked uh, company name i do not have information but i think this was a repetitive question in many companies so you can consider this how to find a duplicate here okay so finding duplicate means see first we have to you can either take any column that you want to find uh, or identify where there is a probability of having a duplicate entry so here we can assume product id or order id and i'm taking a count star from that so now what will happen for each of your product id we will get a count so because i have taken a product id which is expected to be one or unique if i take count it will give me the number of counts for that now i've just taken select those two columns and count with this i'll get the count if there are one and all but i'm using having here to eliminate that so that is how we can find duplicates are there or not so this is one easy question okay so you, you cannot miss to answer this type of question so find or select column names followed by count of star so like say here for, you will get something like this uh, employee number comma count of star something like so here, if I have one, two, one, if there are two counts, you'll get two. So one, two, two, if there is one, you'll get one. So, so from this, you'll get that. But here, the later you're trying to apply a filter, having count star one, that will filter the record. So that is how you can answer this question. Okay. So next question is how to remove. Okay. So these are two questions that comes in pair. How to find duplicates. See, so find what is the purpose of finding the duplicate? It is to eliminate them, right? So we can have that. So you can use a standard function called as something like this with the CTM used. So these are the most easiest way and most convenient and most standard way that we write a query in real time with with using with clauses. Okay. So with the CD as select again, I'm taking two columns, whatever you can consider the same column, product ID or order ID. So here I'm taking again using a row number to find the order here. Okay, and then you can simply run this where, so within this, you will get whatever the duplicate records are there or for every row, you will get that. Now, where below that you are writing a delete query, which should delete any row, which is greater than one symbol. Okay, so that way you can remove. So this is uh, how to find a duplicate and how to remove a duplicate, two questions here, okay? so. Next is highest salary from employee table for each department with all the columns in output. Okay, so user wanted, I think this was asked in CGI if I remember well. So this highest salary. So this is question you can expect in every interview, almost like every interview, if you're attending five interviews, chances are that at least in three interviews, you will face this question, finding highest salary from employee table, finding second highest or third highest or fourth highest. So the, here the trick was, user wanted all the columns okay so again i'm trying to use a with clause here and again i'm using partition here so simply if i run this the inner query if i try to run i'll get rank for each of this okay for each department if you see here i'm getting the rank okay because i have given partition by department number for which means for each department my rank is being sorted from one 
department 20 rank is starting from one department 30 it is starting from one right so in the first inner query so this is the first step that you need to identify when you execute that you will get rank now simply just where rank is equal to one you will get only first ranks from each department okay whereas you are also showing the all columns in a table okay so this way you can solve next is top second highest salary for each department here again okay so same method you can uh, specify but here i'm trying on i'm taking only few columns here not all okay so i'll just try to run this now what is happening for my employee number or name salary and department these are the three columns that i'm taking from my emp table and i'm trying to find rank again for each department so department 10 my ranks are starting from one department 20 it is starting from one department 30 it is starting from one same likewise nth means whatever the number you want you can specify here so third highest i have specified i got third highest so if i want second highest i can simply write it this way if i want first you can write it this way so you can write this query in multiple ways so this is one method that i have shared with you you know okay you can share the alternate version in the comment section if at all you want to okay but this is one very important question that you cannot miss to try to remember this in a multiple way so that it can help you okay so this is the fourth fourth question next is again you know an interesting question that was asked recently i think a company name i don't remember but it was a popular company write a query to find out even or odd records from a table okay again this is very repetitive you know multiple times this was asked so it is expected you know this so first is again see if you remember any complex query you take either it involves generating a row number or either it, it will involves generating a rank okay so for that what are the com what is the common syntax that we are using is this partition by he we are using so try try to master this partition by clause and see how it is helping you okay so you uh you know, by your if at all you want to buy hard you can buy hard you know or you know remember this is syntax what will happen if I don't specify the department number? What will happen if I specify multiple columns here? How my rank is getting generated? So if you become perfect, you can write automatically all of this with ease. Okay. Now we want to find out even number or odd numbers. So the here we have two tricks that we need to do. First step is finding the row number for each of your record. Then we are using a simple percentile function to find out whether it is an even number or odd number. So this is again a logical ability or logical question that we can use a uh, function we can use to find out okay simply if i try to run here click on execute for each of my record it is generating simply generating a number here right so if i want an even number what do i need i need a two four six right eight so this is my reference number now okay so simply if i try to run this I'm getting only those records 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So this is how you can solve this question. Same likewise, if at all I want to find out odd records, once you get even, odd is very simple, easy. Equal to 0, not equal to 0. That's it. You can run it. So I got 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, something like this you can write. Okay. So next is... So next question is displaying the first and last record from table. Okay, again, this is with respect to uh, you know, your table. Again, what is that we need to find out? Row number, assign it to a table. So here I'm simply taking an uh, employee number. So I'm trying to assign a row number to my table. Okay, so that from that, what I'm trying to take, one I'm trying to take an ascending order and another one in descending order. So if I run this, I'll get records. Okay. So this is my entire table. If you see here, all 14 records I got, but one is in, in a descending order and another one is in ascending order. Simple. Okay. So 14 to one, one to 14, two things I have done. Now we need to pull this. That's it.
Okay. So if I do one from this, I'll get this first record. And if I do first from ascending order, I'll get this last record. Okay. So simply using this CT, I'm trying to filter that and I'm trying to get execute. I got first and last record. So this is how you can get, you know, your first and last record from a table. So this is again, yet another interesting question. So I'll be, if you uh, saving this into my Google drive and I'll be sharing the link of these questions. So if at all you want to download it, you can download it from uh, there. Do like, share and subscribe for more such videos. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.